what I'm doing here is I've just got a bit of fabric, just a sample of fabric, the side to imitate the side of a curtain because I did a video explaining something to you but when I edited it I chopped it off so the explanation wasn't there. Now all I meant by felling, them, felling this down is to grab hold of the fabric almost like a gigantic running stitch. Go under the fabric, pick up a little bit, stay under, pick up the fabric and do it's almost like a gigantic slip stitch all the way down. Now I've used another colour but you try not to let the fabric go on the other side and you fell this all the way. Now I use the word fell because that's what I was taught and when when you think about it it imitates the feller machine. The feller machine does it very slowly closer together and it becomes the hem. So this now we're almost hemming this down And that's what you achieve. So that now is fell down, and that's all to it. So now this is down, the raw edge is still showing and then your lining goes on top of it and that is the, the edge of your curtain. And as you can see on the other side you cannot see and I've used white cotton, you cannot see the white cotton coming through but that will not move. And then you put your lining on top and then With your lining now going on top, that's what it looks like. The edge of your curtain. And that's what I was trying to explain. So that will always remain nice and sharp and that's your finish and your one inch side and your seam. So that's what I'm talking about. So the felling is underneath it and that's not going to move and that's on top. And that's how you fell the side of your curtain. So this is a little demonstration for that, uh, that lady who didn't quite understand. Um, well, I actually, I, um, I missed out the editing. I, I took it out by accident. So here it is.